Good morning. So we're on day three of the mending challenge and the topic today is kitchen. For me, I seem to have kitchen towels that um, unravel really closely. See, I don't know about you, but it seems like the seam um, and the hem always comes out going around the edge. So I'm kind of ashamed to admit that I probably had this towel sitting in a mending pile for about six months. Um, so frequently I would just mend it on machine, but this is one of those projects that it's relatively simple to do it by hand. So I'm just going to show you that. And first I'm gonna take my needle and I bag my thread with my bobbins because I find that it's just easier for me to keep track of that way. So I'm just gonna um, thread my needle. And most of the time, you don't have to, I leave it as a double thickness um, just because of the stability. And then um, a little trick that I learned was you always wanna like ease the tension out of your thread because if you don't, you can, it just gets knotty much easier. So, um, ease the tension out and then wrap a knot in the end, roll it off and knot it there. So then, I have some extra pieces. I'm gonna try in a little more. good um there we go okay so there's some extras and i just want to cut those off so that they don't get into the way but um as you know with anything that's raveling it's just going to continue to unravel every time you wash it so i'm just going to go from dip it into the underside and pull up and tuck my knot down so that no one's gonna see it. And there's a couple of ways you can do this. I'm just gonna do a long running stitch, look forward and then go backward a little bit, dig in, forward. Sorry, I'm still trying to figure out how the camera works on this. Um, and of course, as I was looking at the camera, I'm not looking at what I'm doing. Okay, and you can pin it if you want to pin it down in place, or you can just tuck it under as you go. So I'm going right along that edge where the seam originally was. And so I'm going forward about maybe a centimeter and then looping back about halfway behind that and going forward. Again, I would say there's not really a right or wrong way to do this. So many have different techniques and methods and the goal is to um, make it usable again so it's not unraveling. So whatever method you are most comfortable with, but this is just a reminder of how many things we have around us. Um, in pretty much every room of our house that are textiles that um, either, you know, have a seam that's missing, a hole in them, or something like that, and it's a quick fix. Yet, um, I mean, I know personally, it's easy to just think, oh, I'm gonna run, run to the store and get new. And actually thinking about mending changes the mindset a little bit because um, it's putting the work in and saying, wait, I can pause. If I can do this myself and, you know, fix it, then number one, I'm not spending the money that um, I don't need to spend. And just number two, it's so much better than the uh, consumer mentality of always needing something new um, as well as you know the sustainability of just fixing what we have um, and preventing waste 
in our everyday lives. And so I ran out of thread, and so I'm gonna um, knot it again. Grab another piece of thread. Tedious. Okay. And then just another length of thread. I don't know. I, I do about a foot. If you get too long with the thread on your needle, then it's just going to tangle as you're sewing because, um, it's just cumbersome to have too long. So I'm gonna knot that and start my seam or start my new thread. So I'm going underneath, making sure that my knot is tucked behind. And then just an up and down. And for this, because it was an existing seam, um, nobody's really going to see it. And because I was able to get um, or have on hand matching thread. Just that up and down. So again, as you can see, like this project is only going to take, you know, five to 10 minutes. It's just a matter of sitting down and doing the work, which makes it sound incredibly foolish that I have waited six months to actually mend it. Um, but you really want to get into mending and caring for your clothes one of the best things you could do is just set aside half an hour 45 minutes a week even to do it and even if it's just one project a week then they won't build up as quickly and um, staying on top of them okay and so I'm just tying off the end of my knot so my towel is all finished. So that was my kitchen project for the mending challenge. Um, if you have uh, a project, if you have a project for the kitchen that you're working on today, um, I'd love to see it. You can share it in your posts or stories. Um, hashtag 10 day mending challenge. And um, just be sure to tag me and I'll share your post. And my tag is just at Naomi Feda. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.